channel. So I thought today's video would be a really fun sit down video to discuss with you guys. I have started intermittent fasting. What that is basically is you fast for X amount of time and then you eat for X amount of time. I have started this diet because it is, first of all, this diet is a long time coming for me. Um, over the course of several years, I've managed to put on quite a bit of weight and it's just like I'm just not happy and then I'm physically not happy with myself and then health wise it was creating a little bit of problems for me as well and so like I said long time coming and I am very excited it is officially 16 days that I am doing this intermittent fasting so two weeks and two days have gone by but I thought I would do like a little recap of the two weeks um, I will tell you my before weight my after weight um, if you'd like to know my weight now go to the end of this video and we're gonna do um, a weight weigh-in but um, yeah so I started this diet uh, two weeks ago and what I'm doing is I'm doing the 16-8 so I fast for 16 hours and I eat for 8 hours my window is 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. during my uh, eating window essentially you could pretty much eat what you want um, of course, to benefit at 100% with this diet and to um, lose weight if that's what you're doing intermittent fasting for because there's a lot of benefits to intermittent fasting, not just weight loss. But if you are doing it just for weight loss, um, I would suggest to eat a nice clean diet. Um, so what I mean by clean is being very mindful of what you eat uh, mindful of your portions, mindful of your choices as well. An example of what I eat in a day is, for example, for breakfast. I'm loving lately smoothies. Um, as a mom of two young kids, uh, life is always go, go, go. And it's very rare that I get the opportunity to really prepare myself this big deluxe like meal, you know? So what I'll do is in the mornings, or at 11 o'clock rather, I'd make myself a smoothie. I love almond butter. I get like one of those big um, almond butter jars from Costco and I'll put um, a teaspoon of almond butter, I'll put almond milk, I'll put banana, a hint of cinnamon, some ice, you can even throw in some fresh strawberries inside. Blend it all up. It's like the perfect type of um, meal to break your fast. So I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, for lunches, I'm somebody that like totally, like I love salad. I can live off a of salad morning, afternoon, and night. But, um, you know, you can have salads, you can have vegetables and dip, you can have chicken sandwiches, like, you know, you can just pretty much eat what you want. Just be so mindful of what you're putting into your body. Of course, don't eat cookies and all that junk food. Like you're not gonna benefit as much from the diet if you just eat whatever. But I feel like if you're just mindful of your choices, it's gonna go super, super well. Um, for me personally, I don't drink juice. So um, what I drink is water with lemon. I love water with lemon. I'll freeze some lemons up in the freezer and then I'll put some like nice cold water, some ice, and it's just really, really good. Um, I have some uh, protein bars like midday, sh uh, midday squares. Those are super good too. Um, yeah. So. As a recap for these past two weeks I'm not gonna lie and say that it was like super easy and that you know just it's totally fine no of course of course there there were nights when I was hungry and you know changing a habit is I think one of the most difficult things to do and so a lot of people don't like to use the term diet they like to use the term lifestyle change and that has a lot of meaning to it because it is essentially a lifestyle change i had the habit at night time at around eight o'clock 8 30 i'd go get myself like a bunch of fruits granola bars like just kind of just ate all the time because to me putting myself in front of the tv equaled eating to sit in front of the tv i'm like okay where's my snack but i'm not really hungry i'm just it's a force of habit 
So breaking habits is one of the most difficult things I I feel like. Um, where I find this diet hard also is in the mornings, like at around 10 o'clock, I start to get really, really hungry and I can't wait to eat. So so that one hour before eating, it's it's difficult. So I like to fill my stomach up, stomach up with some water, um, black coffee. I do cheat a little bit and add some skim milk in the coffee. Technically, you are not supposed to, but I have noted I have lost weight regardless. So um, yeah, I do that. Why I'd like to take you along with this in this journey with me. I figured I can show you guys some, some of the things that I'm eating, share some of the difficulties. Um, the emotional struggles that go along with this lifestyle change with intermittent fasting. As a recap, it's two weeks that I've been doing it and I will announce to you right now my previous weight. Drum roll please. 243. I weighed 243 pounds. And that to me is mind blowing, mind blowing because I don't know how it happened. I don't know how, I well, I mean, I know how, but I gained that, like I, I, I just, I don't know how, like I, I know how, but I don't know how. It's just mind blowing to me. And so um, the beginning of my weight gain was because of medication. I take medication for an anxiety disorder. The aftermath, um, my mind just, I just spiraled into a very dark place and food was always there to comfort me and I kind of let myself go afterwards. So the beginning of the weight gain was not intentional. It was because of medications that I had no control over and the aftermath, the continuous weight gain is because of me and my poor choices. But um, I was ready to make a change in this new year and 2020 was something. So I'm hoping that 2021 brings us all happiness and joy and freedom and in my case weight loss so yes please subscribe to my channel follow along i would love to share some tips and tricks that i'm experiencing during this weight loss journey i'd love to share what i eat in a day you'll also find day in the lives of a young mom on my channel because i do have two kids two and under and yeah so let's go, you guys, and weigh myself.